Well, you've heard the proverb, if you teach a man to fish, she can eat for a lifetime. Teachers are using that same concept in education at Cooper High School. If you teach a student to learn, there's no limit to what they can do beyond high school. Um, you have this shape for that first one. In John Rivers geometry class, there's not a bad seat in the house. Gone is the teacher lecturing in front of the classroom with students silent and attentive. Now the students learn in groups while the teacher interacts with everyone. More flexibility with what we have going on. There's not just not just about me teacher centered standing in front. It's more about the learning and less about the teacher. John Rivers classroom is one of four at Cooper High School that had an overhaul in the last few months. It's a change that teachers proposed. Now it's that the teachers are saying, no, I don't want to be the one person. I want it to be more collaborative learning. And so the voice is being ta not taken away of the teacher now becomes a guide of the learning and the students have the power and have the voice. Students learn in groups and have access to technology to share it with everyone in the class. It's a way of learning together. That's been the biggest one of the biggest changes is just having a place where a student can just get up and go, let me explain what I'm thinking and they can explain it to the group that they're working with. And that's where we've seen a lot of collaborative work happening. Collaboration is a word you'll hear a lot when describing this approach. Educators say it's a method that translates to after high school, when graduates will have to work together to master material and solve problems. Those are skills I think that are useful for outside of the school and outside of the classroom. I would, I'd rather hire someone that was good at problem solving with other people than thinking by themselves for themselves individually. So far the feedback on the new classroom design has been positive.